have you seen this courtesy of wwd magazine but i also got the news courtesy of nss mag who broke the news actually five days before i think or maybe a week before so big up them but it looks like balenciaga have officially severed ties with kanye west they have broken off that long-lasting collaboration of customer and brand and collaborator and fan whatever it may be right they've broken that relationship up especially in a professional sense maybe Kanye and Debna are fans or friends behind the scenes but as a brand they can't be seen together in that malarkey and if you're Demna, you're probably not going to want to be seen next to him anyway it probably does help that he loves he lives in flipping St. Petersburg oh where's the St. No, Petersburg where is it again Whatever the capital Switzerland is, I forgot the name of it, but um, that's where Demler lives. So it's probably easy for him because he gets to avoid these kind of conversations because he's not in Paris, he's not in LA. It makes it easy to avoid people like this in general if they, if the bosses do come in and say, hey, you can't talk to him anymore. But this is courtesy of WWE magazine. It says, Blen Shocker is severed ties with Ye. Following the publication of his uh, third quarter results on Thursday, parent company Kering said the French house would no longer be working on projects with the rapper formerly known as Kanye West, who has been increasingly controversial public comments in recent weeks, including anti Semitic threats. Blen has no longer a relationship with any plans to work in the future related to this artist. They even say his name. Kering said in response to a query from WWD, it did not elaborate further. The Stronger Singer opened the summer 2023 show and held in a mud pit during Fashion Week, wearing what looked like battle gear including a branded mouth guard shielding his teeth the image was removed from Blenciaga's website it's also been moved from the video also um, it was the latest collaboration with Blenciaga artistic them this director Demna following the launch of earlier this year the Yeezy Get Blenciaga line was dropped from February in tandem with the Yeezy with the Kanye Don the two experience performance in Miami Demna served as creative director for the earlier listing event for the album last year the designer also has a strong relationship with Ye's ex-wife who appears in advertising campaigns for Blenciaga and her extended family sisters Kylie Jenner and Chloe Kardashian who attended the Blenciaga show in October the 2nd so it kind of feels like similar to what happened at Louis Vuitton when essentially Louis Vuitton chose the brand friendly PG version of Kanye in Virgil, God Bless the Dead, and Kanye got pissed off about that. It feels that like Blanchard are choosing the Kardashians as, you know, they're choosing to lie in the bed of the Kardashians whether, instead of lying in the bed of, the, of Kanye because they're a lot more predictable, they're a lot more safe than what Kanye is, even though they're probably as controversial in the public and whatnot. So the same thing is happening itself, you know, history basically repeating itself. And in a way, what you can say with this happening again and again is that the common denominator, the common factor in this whole thing that stays consistent is who? Yay. Kanye West. He's the one person that stays consistent. So really, if you were a smart person, if you were a reasonable person, if you were somebody that was ref capable of reflection and personal responsibility and accountability, you would look at it and say, you know what? Maybe I'm the problem here. Everyone keeps getting deals. Everyone keeps having these long lasting professional relationships. But I always kind of find a way to fuck them over, fuck them up. I find a way to, you know, leave or it just doesn't work out for me. They don't give it to me because as much as Kanye lets go on about, oh, I was promised a Louis Vuitton job and they denied it at the board. Why do they think they denied it at the board? Because he's been a controversial figure and he probably says some things to upset certain people. And they ended it in the same way that, there was that story or no, I think Kanye during one of his rants said something or he was sharing pictures of the board at Adidas and one of the people at Adidas who didn't like him, who he had some beef with, some um, Asian lady, happened to also be on the board of JP Morgan Chase. So it's no coincidence that when it came the time to vote him out and get his account locked down and taken away, even though he had 140 M's in it, as he said, they were quick to do it because he pissed off the wrong people. So for whatever reason, Kanye doesn't seem to know how to do that side of things he doesn't know how to manage those relationships and make it work i think the last time he did it properly in that kind of scale was maybe louis vuitton if i remember they saw out their contract legitimately i think it was three years whatever how long it was they saw it out completely with no real kind of kicking up or, you know kicking off the furniture or throwing stuff out the window um, but nowadays he just doesn't seem to be able to do it it continues yeah, last month terminated his partnership with Gap Inc., signaling an increasingly combative attitude that also left his 10 year old relationship with Adidas hanging by a balance. The German sportswear firm said on October 6th the partnership was under review. The rapper who was diagnosed with 2016 with bipolar disorder has appeared in spiral out of control since staging a surprise user show in Paris that features a shirt with the slogan White Lives Matter. Da, 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 da. But anyway, let's go back to the Blanchard thing. The thing that's really annoying and really pisses me off about this issue is that in general it does kind of expose 
how um f- I wouldn't say flaky but how flip-flop these guys are in general because I like I've said before I honestly refuse to believe as just a regular civilian watching these things from the outside in I refuse to believe this version of Kanye is new I think us as fans will maybe be shielded by this because a lot of his friends and close collaborators would never speak about the fractious times they've had with him or when they've seen him bark on people or just be rude in general. They don't necessarily like to repeat those things. They want to protect the mystery. They want to protect their connect. They want to make sure they get invited to listening parties. They want to make sure they get the free free shoes and post. Because if you notice, no one's posting their free shoes anymore. No one's saying thanks, Kanye. Everyone's kind of keeping themselves to themselves and you know even if there was a show announced they'd all go out of the way to pretend like they had a talk with him and gave him a dressing down all this malarkey but in general i feel like a lot of these people have enabled the guy even though he's you know he's to blame largely for everything that's happening that he's saying but a lot of it i think is because of an unchecked ego and obviously you know when people do try and check him i'm sure he probably just tells them to fuck off and gets new friends who can agree with him but I think all those years of, you know, blowing smoke up his ass and making him feel like he's untouchable, it's no surprise that he's walking around like, guess what? He's untouchable. So maybe this Blanchard thing would be quite a big body blow, especially on the back of the air, uh, what he shared on, on Instagram ages ago of him allegedly spending up to $4 million on Blanchard. And this was this calendar year. It wasn't even from last year, it was from like the January 2022 until now. So mid-October or late October, he spent $4 million. Now, of course, you know, Belichaga stuff is not cheap. You know, a t-shirt is going to go for, what, 400 quid or something. So clearly you can rack up the spend pretty quickly. But the fact that he spent $4 million and that didn't give him any leeway, any protection. It didn't give him any opportunity to have a conversation with Karen and maybe explain his position or maybe even apologize so he can keep the bag. Nah, four million is not enough. In the same way, having one forty million in the bank isn't enough either. They chucked him out of the bank. They cut him off for the bench. I think even though he's clearly somebody I feel like who, you know, even though I'm familiar or I'm in love with them, not familiar, even though I'm familiar with them and I know about him since Vermon days. And, you know, I was wearing the collection since the first collection on the runway. And I've been obsessed with the guy ever since. And I loved everything that he's did at Blanche Yoga so far. You still have to say, Kanye was definitely the person who brought Blanche Yoga to the masses, especially when it comes to the black community. He definitely is the one that kind of propped it up and made it a little bit, made it bang a little bit more than it probably would have before. So this definitely is going to hurt, even though he probably would say different. I'd imagine, you know, having such a brand on your back and then suddenly not having them anymore is not something that you're going to be taking lightly. But, you know, again, who do you have to blame on this? Just himself, really, to be honest. Only, 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 only himself and nobody else.